sometimes I've called it a love letter to ourself. It's a private space for us to be in with ourself. And um, my experience is, though here particularly we have absolutely wonderful speakers, clear as you could possibly hope for. However, my experience is that words don't do it, no matter how wise they are. And I learned, and this was, I learned it at the beginning, as when I started, like I told you, um, that one is lonely for something which is actually palpably present. It, and by touching the being, if you like, of you here, the being, which is a, a universal quality, it's the life of all of us, living all of us, gets transmitted somehow in a palpable sense. And slowly we realize, wow, I, I'm, I'm this all the time, underneath I must do this and I do that and blah, blah. Is this self just waiting and says, says, hello, darling. Yeah, I've been here a while. So, yeah, welcome. And then we begin to trust that. And it's an on and off basis to start with. But I feel it's, I feel in our society, we don't honor the body as an absolute necessity. Well, of course we do to walk about, but we are not in our education system. There's very little uh, invitation to feel the presence of being just in the way I say, would you like a cup of coffee? You know, going from, from here to here to here carries the presence of, I just call it quietness, because you know, otherwise you get blissful and all these extravagant words and people say, well, it doesn't feel blissful because the, the quietness of being is also quiet as well as blissful. And, and sometimes I think, when you say to people, you know, like people like the great sages, Ramana, who is I, and, and for years I couldn't find. And I, I came to this stop and I thought, well, obviously I'm stupid or I'm doing it wrong. It can't be that simple. But actually, slowly I discovered it is that simple. And I learnt it here and here and here. And um, I remember I had a student, I had a long course, six, seven, seven days or so, and she was really, really stuck. Very bright, lovely woman. And she was really, really stuck. And I, and she, I didn't know what to do with her. I'd done everything I thought I could do. So I said, come, come out here, just stand with me here. And I said to her, just shut your eyes and put your arms out like this. And, and, and just be as quiet as you can here. I'm going to do something to you. Is that okay? And I won't frighten you and I won't hurt, hurt you. And all I did was this, with one hand, and that with the other hand. And it was that, those movements, recognizing it, this quiet. Well, it's like a shine, but I'm nervous of the word because it's a very quiet shine of being. And slowly the tears dripped down her face and she said, oh. So she'd learnt it through her body, and everything changed then, just from those simple, simple movements. So I, 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 in my middle age, moved into my body really properly for the first time in my life, which is pretty shocking. So um, Drawn Home became this invitation to meet oneself, which is what I suppose it, satsang is. It appears to be with another, but it's always the one life. And so that's mirrored from you to me until I realize, oh, wow, it's here too, it's here always. I'm here always. And um, the body melts then a bit, you know, and slowly we, 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 the body becomes less defined and the smartness and the way we do everything, it, it all becomes softer and more spacious. And uh, slowly one begins to see that this field of perception, one's body, uh, moves 
within myself, within my field, which is endless, um, literally endless. And so a different play of life offers itself. And then the whole edifice of trying and striving and fear of not being okay just kind of dissolves. And it's very interesting because um, I had a group of new people and old people and the, the new people asked the old people in a little circle we had, so why do you all keep coming back? And out of a group of about ten old people, three of them in their own words all said, oh that's funny, I don't know why I keep coming back. It's because I meet something that I can't live without. And that comes off touching the paper with our hands and our instruments. I mean, how simple is that? So that what happens between, you know, here we talk about this hand and the paper, but actually when, when you just touch here, here, if this is the paper, we just touch here. There's no hand and there's no paper, there's just this. And then people begin to realize there's only this ever. And uh, it's truly what we can't live without. We can't live without, um, we don't live without it because it's always there, but we can't, we, 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 we want to live with, with, no, with, with this palpable, juicy, loving, tender experience of life meeting itself as everything else. So the concepts then sort of fall away and people feel Wow. Oh.